Hi guys, welcome to my vlog about the beautiful and historic Mysore Palace. Located in the city of Mysore in India, this place is a must-see attraction for anyone who loves history, culture and stunning architecture. With its vibrant color, intricate carving and fascinating stories, the Mysore Palace is a true feast for the saints. So join me on this virtual tour as we discover the wonders of this magnificent palace together. As we make our way to the magnificent Mysore Palace, we decide to have some fun and take a quick ride in a horse-drawn carriage. The carriage was cozy and comfortable. The horses are well trained making the ride smooth and easy. We enjoy the short but delightful ride through the charming street of Mysore, taking in the lively atmosphere and colorful building. It's a unique and fun experience that adds to the excitement of our Mysore adventure. As we approach Mysore Palace, we see its grand front gate the Gombi Thoti or Dolls Pavilion Gate. This gate was built in 1910 and is named after the miniature dolls displayed during the Navratri festival. It's adorned with intricate design and carvings showcasing the incredible skills of its artisans. The Dolls Pavilion Gate is not only a symbol of a city's culture, heritage but also a beautiful work of art that takes our breath away. As we make our way to the ticket counter of Mysore Palace, we notice it's packed with a visitor on this weekend. The rush is quite overwhelming and we face some difficulty in purchasing our entry ticket. Nevertheless, we manage to get our tickets and eagerly look forward to exploring the majestic place. We eagerly enter Mysore Palace, ready to explore the magnificent interior of this historic structure. The blend of indo sarsanic Mughal and Gothic style is a feast for the eyes with intricate carving, colorful stained glass windows and stunning painting on display. We can't wait to discover more of what Mysore Palace has to offer. According to legends, the two Black Panther statue at the entrance of Mysore Palace have protective powers. The Wadia dynasty who built the palace placed these statues as a symbol of the goddess Shamandeshwari, power and ferocity. The Panthers also paid tribute to the region's natural heritage as Mysore was once home to these elusive big cats. In the palace, there is a room called the Elephant Corridor where the royal elephants used to walk. It is adorned with the painting of elephants and the ceiling is supported by huge wooden pillars carved with the elephants' heads. This corridor was used to transport the kings and queens to the palace in the past. Inside the palace, there are various statues and old objects that showcase the rich history and culture of the Mysore Kingdom. One of the most notable objects is the Darbar Hall, which features a beautiful ceiling made of intricately carved rosewood. Additionally, there are various paintings including portraits of the royal family and depiction of important events in Mysore history. 
there are also display of weapons clothings and other artifact that offer a glimpse into the lives of the people who lived in the palace finally there are many statues of deities including shiva vishnu and ganesha which are mean to symbolize the palace religious significance the darbar hall which is the main hall of the palace has a unique history it was in this hall that the last maharaja of mysore jaya chamrajendra wadiyar ascended the throne at the age of 25 in 1940 the hall has a magnificent ceiling that is adorned with a beautifully painted motifs and the wall are covered with portraits of wadiyar dynasty In fact the darbar hall has been the venue for many royal functions including coronations and weddings it is said that the hall can accommodate up to 5000 people at a time and it is considered one of the grandest and most opulent spaces in the palace As we enter the Queen's Palace, we are greeted by the stunning architecture and exquisite interior design. The Queen's Palace is said to have been built in 1897 during the reign of Chamaraza Wadiyar. It was the royal residence of the Queen until 1940, after which it was converted into a museum. The palace showcases a range of artifact including paintings, sculpture, furniture and clothing providing a glimpse into the lives of the royal. The intricate carving, vibrant color and ornate furnishing makes the Queen's Palace a true masterpiece of architecture and design. In this palace you can find various paintings depicting the kings, queens and their children. Unfortunately, I missed capturing them. Left side of the exit there is a place for ambari the royal elephant used during the dashera festival The Mysore Palace was built in the year 1912 and was designed by a English architect named Henry Erwin The palace has been rebuilt several times due to the fire accidents and the last reconstruction being completed in the year 1940. An interesting fact about the palace is that it has been built in a blend of Hindu, Mughal, Rajput and Gothic style of architecture. The palace also boasts a large courtyard that can accommodate thousands of people. Interestingly the palace courtyard is so large that it was used as a landing ground for aeroplanes during World War II. Additionally the palace has a beautiful garden known as Kishikinda Molika Bonsai Garden which houses a variety of exotic plants and bonsai trees. Another fascinating fact about the palace exterior is that it's made entirely of grey granite. which was quarried from nearby areas the granite was transported to the palace by a team of over 5000 laborers who worked tirelessly to complete the palace construction in just 4 years overall the exterior of the palace is just as impressive as the interior and it's a must see for anyone visiting mysore
captured some amazing photos and created unforgettable memories. Mysore Palace offers restroom facilities on the premises for visitors convenience. The restroom are located to the side of the palace and are equipped with the modern amenities for a comfortable experience. After the exploration of the Mysore Palace, visitors can head towards the breakfast and shopping points located within the palace premises. The palace has various shops where one can purchase souvenirs, handcrafts and additional Mysore silk sarees. Additionally, there are also cafes and restaurants that offers delicious breakfast options. We thoroughly enjoyed our tour of Mysore Palace, taking in all the beautiful sights and learning about its rich history. If you are planning a visit, we would recommend avoiding public holidays or weekends when the crowds can be overwhelming both inside and outside of the palace. It's best to visit during the week when there are fewer people and you can take your time exploring the palace at your own pace. Another tip is to arrive early in the morning when the palace opens to beat the crowds and have a more peaceful experience. Overall, we highly recommend a visit to the Mysore Palace for anyone interested in history, architecture or just admiring beautiful landmark. Before we finish our tour, we want to share one more incredible experience with you all. The night show of the palace. The palace is illuminated by thousands of light creating a breathtaking display of colors and patterns. During the show, you will see the story of the Vadia dynasty come to life through a combination of lights, music and narration. you enjoyed our tour of Mysore Palace and the night show. Stay tuned for more exciting places to visit in Mysore on our journey. Don't miss out on the fun. Keep exploring with us. Thank you so much for watching.